A man will cherish your heart when you do this. If you had a man who wasn't really taking good care of your heart, he was in fact being a little neglectful with it. He wasn't cherishing you. He wasn't adoring you. He wasn't even respecting you much. Then there's a challenge with that, that he was actually losing his connection to your heart and losing his connection to your feelings and your feminine vulnerability we're going to be talking about in this video so you can have a loving long-term and committed relationship with a man you want rather than having a man pull away lose interest or stop devoting himself to you i'm brody boyd if you don't know me already and for over 20 years combined me and my wife auntie have been helping thousands of successful women all over the world to get a loving long-term and committed relationship with a man they want fast so let's go ahead and dive into this so the core idea here is you have to be able to share your core emotions with a man. Now, what are your core emotions? Your core emotions are the primary emotions that you're feeling on any given moment that you are living your life or you are with a man that you're interested in. A core emotion is something very basic, like usually hurt, sadness, anger, guilt, shame, desire, love, uh, fear. So these are some of the core emotions that may be coming up inside of your heart at any given time. Now, why is it important to share your core emotions? It's so important because a man needs to be able to feel your heart for him to feel connected to you, for him to be attracted to you, and for him to feel like he wants to devote himself to you. If he doesn't feel your core heart at your core feminine, he is going to be detached and he's going to feel like this is just some woman that I might have sex with, I might interact with, maybe a friend. There might be something there, but nothing really deep for him because he's not getting his hero instinct activated by getting to glimpse at your core feminine heart. You may feel like, hey, I'm vulnerable with a guy. And that's like saying that you're like walking around. Let's say you have this beautiful, amazing body and face and you're just this perfect model woman, but you are walking around the world wearing a burqa or you're wearing sunglasses, a burqa and sunglasses. In other words, you're completely covering yourself so that nobody can see you and you're wondering why isn't anyone giving me any attention and that's the same thing that many women are doing with their hearts they're guarding their hearts they're closing them up and they're sh they're hiding them from a man so that they don't have to feel afraid of being hurt again or of pushing a man away because you might have had experiences with men in the past where they took your feelings and they crushed your heart or they were hurting you they were using them against you or they were uh, still pulling away and still losing interest and that's oftentimes because there's a couple things one is that there are men out there who are what i call bad men maybe five to ten percent of the population maybe a little bit more who really don't care about your feelings because they're immature they've been they've been hurt before they're either, they're narcissistic perhaps they're sociopaths and of course when you share your emotions with a man like that and he doesn't care he doesn't do any he, he doesn't want to help you with those emotions you have to, if you've practice what we teach you here and you've communicated in the right way, you've shared your emotions in the right way consistently and he's still treating you bad or pulling away or, or not caring about your feelings, you need to detach from that man. You need to move on. Now, for most men, they're going to care about your feelings and they're going to feel them when, you're, when they're shared in the right way, when you're not using them. So how do you actually, when you're not using them against them? So how do you actually do this? So the first thing is getting in touch with your core emotion, your primary emotion. Now, what happens is you might feel something like anger in your system. Like I'm angry. I got to share him with him my anger when actually that's a secondary emotion, the secondary emotion from something else that happened before the primary emotion was more likely something like sadness or hurt that you feel hurt by something he did or didn't do. And then it made you sad. And then you became angry that he wasn't caring about that and he wasn't listening. He wasn't doing anything about it. So now you're angry and you want to tell him that you're angry and you want to do something or you want to tell some tell him something. But that's not going to help. That's not going to help him feel your core heart because that's a secondary emotion. It's a layer upon the core, which is your raw feminine uh, core emotion, which would be hurt or sadness. So you want to find what is that core emotion? Listen into your body, which is getting into your feminine listening to your body, you're feeling it. And now you can share it and you can say, uh, may I share something with you? Sure. I feel hurt or I feel sad. He's going to say, well, why do you feel sad? Because of what 
you know, this ha situation that happened yesterday and you said this and I said this and it made me feel like you didn't care. So that would be like a core emotional sharing of what's going on inside your heart. That would be like an authentic, vulnerable, feminine share. He's going to feel your heart and he's going to be drawn to it. Now, here's the analogy I want to use for how to do this correctly. So imagine that you have this beautiful golden heart. It's like a, it's been crafted and it's it's made out of pure gold and you have it in a box and you're going to share it with a man and you're bringing it up to the man and you're, you're slowly, um, let's say there's two different ways you might approach it. So one woman, she has the, this golden heart she pulls it out of the box with a man and she throws it at him. And she says, here, take this. <laughs> you know, like, this is my anger. Feel my anger. And she, or she whacks him with it. She whacks him with the heart. Or she just throws it away. That's like one example. That's one way of using. That would be more the example I said before where you're feeling anger because you're hurt. And now you're like whacking him over the head with your feelings. You're whacking him and saying, why don't you care about my feelings? Start caring about my feelings. Uh, so that's one example. The other example is imagine you have this golden, beautiful heart in this box. You bring it up to him, you show him, and you're just gently pulling off the lid of this heart, and you're beauty pulling out this beautiful golden heart. Let's make sure I don't lose focus here. That he gets to see, and he gets to say, like, wow, that's for me? That's that's amazing. That's the most beautiful heart I've ever seen. And he's gonna what he's gonna do is he's going to want to reach out and he's going to want to grab that heart because of how it was presented to him and because it's your core emotion. And he's going to cherish it. And he's going to be like, this is incredible. Thank you so much for giving me your heart and for showing me your true golden, feminine, radiant heart. It's a massive gift to a man when you can share your raw, vulnerable, feminine, beautiful heart in the right way, in a feminine way. So now... You've shown him your primary emotion. He gets to feel it. He gets to value it. And now he wants to cherish it. Now he wants to take care of it because of how it was presented. That like you weren't hiding it. You weren't letting it build up until it was all this resentment and all this, this tangle of web of primary and secondary emotions. You actually spoke up. And you shared quickly. And you shared often because that's one of the big keys. The last thing I'll say with this, one of the big keys to share your primary emotion with a man and let him feel your heart is you have to do it quickly and you have to do it often. You have to share the primary emotion while it's still a primary emotion, not when it builds up into resentment, anger, uh, other things, shame, guilt, fear. You share it while it's raw and while it's fresh. And you do it in a feminine way like we teach here. And now he gets to receive it in a way where he gets to acknowledge it. He gets to feel your heart in the moment. He gets to do something about it in the moment, ideally, if not as soon as you can afterwards. So now he can feel your heart in the raw moment and feel your primary emotion rather than a secondary emotion. And he gets to value it now. He gets to receive it and value it so that he wants to take care of it. He wants to take care of it. He's inspired to take care of it now. Not like he's being forced to take care of it. Like, here, take my heart, fix it, do something about it. I want you to polish it. I want you to put it up on the shelf over there. I want you to cherish it. It's like, no, the way you present it now, he wants to cherish it. He's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for sharing this with me. This is amazing. Like, I want to take care of your heart. I want you to feel good. I want to make you happy. Like, how can I do this better? Like, what do we need to fix? What do I need to do? How often do you want me to text you? Where where should we go? Like, what's what can we plan? What's a date night we should plan? He's going to want to take care of your heart. He's going to want to make it better. So watch this again if you need to. Let it absorb. Let it sit. Remember those analogies I gave you. And this is the power of being in your feminine. This is the power that it has over a man that can make him see your heart as this valuable treasure rather than something that's actually to be avoided or something that is just to be thrown away or, or should uh, he should not care about because you're not caring about it. You're not valuing it and you're not actually sharing it in the right way and sharing it often in the right way with a man who you want to share it with, who you care about, who you are interested in. So hope this was helpful. Much love, and if you haven't yet, I highly recommend taking our free feminine polarity quiz so that you can get a loving, long-term, and committed relationship with a high-quality man that you desire, a man who's taking care of you, who's handsome, attractive, ultra-successful, who wants to be your provider, your protector, take care of your heart for life. You can get that by going to magnetizeyourman.com or go to uh, getlovequiz.com as well. Getlovequiz.com. We'll put the link below as well. So much love, take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.